Well, Derek, let's start a great three points to start the season off a 2 1 win. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, against a team that uh, this football club's uh, never won against at home, I believe. So um, it was a great win for us today to, you know, beat a team that uh, are looking to get uh, into the playoffs, maybe out of this league uh, this season. And, uh, you know, we came here today and we played ever so well. You know, in that first half, um, we also had one opportunity and it was a mistake by us uh, to score. And I thought that we passed the ball well. The goal we scored was sublime. You know, it came from a throw on one side, it got to the other side of the pitch. A magnificent time of the pass uh, from King and uh, Adam Mayer, you know, finished really well. And uh, I think that it was nothing more than we deserved. We could have gone on and added more to our, our goal scoring tally at that stage. And then we get sucker punched. You know, we don't do well with the situation down our left hand, uh, our right hand side. Um, we try and make a tackle and then a 40 yard pass uh, gets through. and the, Johnston's one and one with our defence and uh, we don't defend well enough but you know to fight as we did in the second half because it became a wee bit like that it was a bit scrappy bit nervous as first games of the season are um, you know we looked like um, we had the opportunity to to go in and win the game and uh, a great cross in from from Adam Mayer for the for the goal. Adam Mayer mentioned there a goal and an assist big season for him his second season in the football league and uh he couldn't have done much better today, could he? No, we're playing with a front three of 19 years of age and uh, you know I don't think there'll be many teams uh, in this league that have had a younger average age than we've had today starting the season. So um, it's really pleasing for these young players because they're having to grow up quickly and they've done that today. Uh, Rawson, uh, who's the club captain, has, has gone and you know headed the winner. Uh, and it was just a, a really good performance from us today to you know typify how well we've done in pre-season. Been a tough pre-season for you. Five debuts today, two second debuts as well. You've had a lot of changing to do, but uh, you'll go on happy, happy tonight, I'm sure. Yeah, it's been a really difficult time. You know, we were left with six players from last season. We had to sign 13 players to, to get a squad to, to 19. We've got 19 players at this moment in time, and um, we look to add three more to that squad to take it to 22. But uh, you know, I thought that the players were great today. Uh, I loved how they, they came in after the game, the spirit they showed throughout the, uh, the, the 90 minutes and, uh, and beyond that. You talked about the three added players that you're looking for. Is that hopefully in the next week or two? Well, it has to be, uh, with the window closing. Um, so, you know, it'll be before the window closes. You've got a big game again Tuesday night against Rotherham, so uh, no time to rest and just carry on where you left off, really. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the thing about the start of the season. You know, you play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday for the first you know, few weeks of the season and uh, you've got to be ready for it. We went to Rotherham last season in the, the League Cup and uh, we go there again uh, this Tuesday night. One thing that people will discuss, I'm sure, after today's game was 20 minutes of added time was one thing. 11 bookings uh, overall as well. It's uh, Football's changed a bit, isn't it? You've got a lot to think about there. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's for the better, and, and that's me talking at the first game of the season. Uh, I don't think it uh, is best of the way uh, it happened today. I think that, um, you know, for a supporter, uh, for management, for players, I think um, it was about confusing how the way situations take place, the amount of bookings that they are in the game, the amount of stoppage time that's taking place, the amount of stoppages that happen in the game, it was stop, start, stop, start. I don't think that's the beautiful game, I don't think that that's what the public come here to, to see. The decision makers have made their decision. I'm sure they'll be here, you know, from speaking on behalf of many managers, coaches, supporters uh, this afternoon because it's OK having the extra time but it's the manner how it's got to that uh, extra time and um, I just think that you know it, it, the amount of bookings you have the thought process of having the same number of timelines in place, six bookings, but the six bookings now include a, the, the coaching staff and management staff if you're going to throw them out like confetti then clubs like ourselves with small squads is going to find it uh, you know, very difficult but that's not part of the thought, the, the thought process, it doesn't matter about the football clubs, it's, it only matters about uh, the rules of the game and uh, how some powers of B think about it uh, you know, upstairs and uh, listen uh, it's not the way that I would like to see you know, football go It's been tough pre-season for you, it's been tough for the club, it's been tough for the fans as well. But they've come back today, a crowd of over 4,000, which is magnificent, I thought. 
Yeah, I mean, I think that um, you know it shows the the backing they've got for their club and the community, and uh, they've really got behind this football club. We've gone through a difficult uh, summer. We all know the troubles that we've got uh, off the pitch, and um, we have to you know get that rectified and behind the scenes. Uh, hopefully, uh, in the coming weeks, months, years, that uh, it'll come about and, and, and change.